Hello everyone, this is Charles Bridgetech with another product review, this time on a sound bar by a Kick Snow. Now I was contacted by this company. This is a long box, clearly out of the range of my camera. But in any case, they sent this to me to review. So I want to thank them. They do have an Amazon store. So let's open this up and see what's in. Now this is a Bluetooth speaker, which is really nice. Done quite a few of them actually. Comes with the remote, the RCA cords, as well as the owner's manual, which we'll get into those in a little bit. And it also comes with a power adapter. And let's go ahead and take this speaker out. And this is really long and narrow. We'll go ahead and move this out of the way here. And let's take this out of the package here. Now this is also wall mountable. So right off hand, as you can see, it's got a lot of nice high gloss finish on it. And we'll bring it around the front here. It's got the cloth front. Really nice. And it's not heavy at all. And I'll show you the wall mount on the back. It's got an area here for the RCAs. And it also has an optical uh, input there. And then there's your power. That's all nice. And uh, looks like this grill comes off. Let's take a look at the drivers, um, see what they look like. As you can see, you've got your two main drivers here. You've got your passive radiator for extra base. There's the other driver there, rest of it there. It's also where the lights. Uh, status LEDs are there. Okay, so now we'll go ahead and put the screen back on. Okay, so now that's what it looks like when it's back all together. It's a really nice, uh, feels like a good uh, quality product right off hand. Finish is nice. Now this is plastic. So it's high impact plastic. It's got some nice piano finish that I like. And this is definitely something I'm gonna be using on a smaller TV that doesn't have quite as good of speakers as this does. So definitely wanna hook this up. But in the mean case, let's go ahead and power this up since this is Bluetooth. Now on the other end here is all your controls to get this connected to whatever you want via Bluetooth or you can use the aux cord. So we're gonna go ahead and power this up and uh, get some music in here, non-copyrighted of course, and uh, see how it sounds. Get this uh, squared away. And we do have a red light there in that far corner. And now that we got this plugged in, we're just gonna go ahead and go over the accessories here that are included. And the RCAs is always really a nice to have. If you're like me, have so many electronics, I lose my RCA cords get transferred one to another. Oh, it has a dear customer note. And here's the owner's manual, which is for people uh, that they're not really familiar on setting it up, but in any case, I am, so we'll move that on. Here's the fiber optic cable for you want to run the digitally, uh, a digital cable to this. You're ready to go there. And of course, 
the RCAs. They do have the angle ones here for the unit itself. Comes in handy. And this is what I like. Comes with the remote. So we're going to take this out of the, the thing here. We're going to take the little plastic lever out of this. That's so the battery can make contact in there. Now my understanding, this takes a uh, 2025 battery. So that's a common battery that you can buy at a Walmart or, or Target or anything like that. So we got the remote ready. So now let's go ahead and uh, see if we can get this to link up with my phone here. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and I'm going to bring the speaker lights here so you can see them as we go ahead and activate it. We're going to go ahead and hit the Bluetooth button here. I'm going to turn it on here. Okay, so as you can see it's Unki Eye uh, is the name of the device when hooking it up. So in this case, we're going to go ahead and play some non-copyrighted music. Of course, it is karaoke music. Unfortunately, I can't play copyrighted music. So we're going to go ahead and uh, see how this sounds here. We're going to turn it up. Remote here. Turn the volume here to see how it sounds. Got a nice sound here. Okay, can't turn up the bass. So let's go ahead and uh, take the screen and see the uh, drivers in motion. turn up the volume, we're going to go to max volume and see how it sounds. Okay, well, uh, this is pretty impressive. Uh, the sound definitely is nice to be able to have separate bass and treble, uh, depending on what music you listen to. Put this uh, screen back on so we can see it here. So now I've got this back uh, all together 
uh, took the screen off. It's not recommended that you do that. Um, I did it for so you guys can actually see the drivers um, working. It does have quite a bit of power. This is a 20 watt unit total, so it's 10 watts per channel. Um, definitely like the fact that this has separate bass and treble on the adjustments, so you can get that. You know, your preference isn't standardized among all. all music you can kind of change it around a little bit and I like that that's definitely a plus for this unit um, as far as quality of sound it's pretty good um, it does go loud uh, considering for its size and the the longness of the box it should fit nicely under most screens if you do have a huge TV it shouldn't look too bad even if you set it up on top of it it does have the uh, rubbered feet if you want to set it on top of your TV top or below um, you're going to get some really nice sound out of it. It's pretty spacious, so it's kind of nice. Uh, just in my listening area here, uh, I was quite impressed with this. Uh, definitely something I'm going to use personally. Uh, just like the fact that it looks nice too. Uh, there's no signature label of the name brand on the unit uh, other than on the back here on the label. Other than that, uh, it shouldn't affect it, so if you want something that doesn't have a label on it, this is definitely something um, that you may be interested in getting. Uh, quality seems good, remote, easy to connect. Uh, just to me, is, is an all-around nice product. Of course, the buttons are on the side, so if you don't have the remote, you can use the side. Uh, but I definitely like using the remote. It makes it a lot easier. Uh, all your line in everything your auxiliary if you use the aux cord uh, is all right here on the remote full uh, use remote so everything that this thing can do is on the remote that's also a plus now I just want to thank a Keek snow for sending me this soundbar to review and if you are interested in this look up right up on that screen right about there and that'll help you save some money on this soundbar and I hope you enjoyed this video if you did please share like and subscribe that way I can bring more of these type of products to you in the future thanks for watching take care